Hello, my name is Michael. I live in Japan, and I have a tiny kitchen in a bachelor apartment. And chances are, if you move to Japan into a bachelor apartment, you're going to have a tiny kitchen like mine. So today, I thought I'd show you how I function in such a tiny kitchen. So here we go, from the living area to the kitchen. This is my four feet of kitchen space. I actually use this cutting board as my counter. This is pretty much the only way I have managed to get anything done. You've probably noticed from a lot of my other videos that I've got, you know, all kinds of stuff on the stove because that's pretty much my drying rack. Um, because it's so humid here, um, the towel gets stinky if I use it, so I just don't use it. And you'll also see the garbage there. It's because, of course, in Japan, as you may have heard, you have to sort your garbage. Under my sink, I've got all my pots and pans. Tim Hortons. This is a really good investment. It's a little magnetic towel hanger. And I also invested in some of those pegs. This is my tiny cupboard where my eating things go. That's the fridge. Fridge is actually a decent size, and it's got a nice little freezer space in here, which I fill with uh, things that are easy to make, and minced meats. In case for some reason you're interested, this is what the inside of my fridge looks like. Complete with beer, butter, yogurt, lots of vegetables that I keep getting as gifts. Eggs, sake, milk, juice, the typical stuff, if you're me. But yeah, there's just not enough room, so things tend to spill out onto the floor beside the fridge there. Making this video was a great excuse to like clean and organize this a bit. I've got my, all my, my spice collection here. I get pretty excited when uh, I see a new spice at the supermarket because they don't just have a good variety of spices that are from North America. And my selection of teas and coffees. Rice cooker. And you don't need to see that. 